getting married today. Come on, that's pretty. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you so, so, so much, God. Just for everything that you've done, God. For getting us to this point today, God. Thank you for giving us your glory in a time like this, God. Where it's easy for things to get stressful, God. But you have given us the peace and the glory of you, God. So we just thank you so much for doing what you're doing in our lives, God. We ask that we take this new step. Next step, God, we just continue to ask that you anoint this relationship, your relationship, God, you anoint this covenant, God, that we made with each other, and not only with each other, but with you, God, we just thank you so much for what you're about to do in our lives, God, we have complete faith that you are in this, God, and your word has backed everything up that we thought, everything up that you said, God, so we just appreciate you for everything, God, we rebuke any negative spirits, negative, uh, wishes and hopes that anybody has for our future together, God. We just, man, we know that if you are for us, then nothing can be against us, God. So we just continue to pray to you as you give us strength through the tough times, God. We keep you as our foundation. Um, we know that when things get tough, when things get rough, that we can lean on you. We just appreciate you for being our foundation. We appreciate you for being in the center of all we do, God. In the center of every decision that we make, we thank you for leading us into this uh, decision, God. And seeing us fit to take that next step, God. In Jesus' name we pray, man. Amen. Hey y'all, so I know I haven't came and talked to you guys since the doctor's appointment and I never ended up showing you guys the ultrasound pictures. So here they are. It's kind of like, girl, that's a blob. That's exactly what I was thinking when I saw. And I mean, to put it in context, we kind of like, we got to kind of like flip it to actually see the baby, but this is the head. Let me see if it can focus. This is the head up here, the hands, and then the bottom. The baby was measuring nine weeks and four days. According to my app, I was nine weeks and six days by then, but you know, I don't know. Uh, they said that the baby is healthy and that I'm healthy and everything is going smoothly. I have not taken uh, prenatal vitamins yet. I have yet to get that from the store. And then um, my doctor was like really, really helpful and everything. I told her about my symptoms because I'm like very, very nauseous, like super nauseous to the point like I want to throw up, but I just don't. And I'm thankful that I don't throw up, but like, child, I don't know, but very nauseous. I'm very hungry, like starving 
And then I just get to the point of where, like, I just want to pass out and go to sleep. Like, that's just only, that's mainly the only symptoms that I've been feeling. I haven't really had anything else besides, like, uh, breast tenderness. And, yep, that's about it. But I'm currently not showing yet because uh, I'm, I'm only two months. In a few weeks, I'll be three months. So, yeah, my stomach's still pretty flat. Um, my husband and I are both really, really excited. Uh, we cannot believe this though. Like, this is just something that's just like, what in the world is no way? There's no way we finna be parents. Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're just, we're just happy. We're excited. We're very thankful that God has chose us to be, uh, parents, to be a guidance to this child and, yeah, um, I'm excited to see what the baby will look like. Um, I've always envisioned like me on my channel, just going through life, just documenting my life, seeing my family grow, seeing just my husband and I grow. So I'm very excited for like this new chapter in my content. I know I've been gone for a very, very long time, but y'all, your girl been going through it. I have not been feeling it. I've been trying to push through and everything, but I've just really been trying to focus on letting myself rest, making sure that I'm good, healthy, hydrated, and yeah, because you know, y'all should know if y'all watch my uh, channel that I do work a 40-hour job every week, so it is kind of like exhausting to kind of balance out my content, job, and then home life, but nevertheless, I just want to come on here and update you guys on what's been going on and what the photos look like. And yeah, I don't know when I'm going to come back and talk to you guys. Um, it'll probably be when I finally get out of my first trimester because I've been very intentional about who we tell and who we haven't told yet, especially like on social media. Cause like I said, if you watch my videos or not, but you know I'm not on social media for real. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not on TikTok. Um, only thing I have is Facebook, and that's just solely for connecting with family, staying in touch with my family. So I haven't told anybody for real but immediate family and friends. So, yeah, I'm just excited. I really wanted to get past this first trimester and make sure the baby's healthy and that I can... Uh, go through a full healthy pregnancy a full-term pregnancy and yeah so probably won't come back to you guys until my second trimester so continue to stay tuned and i will talk to you guys then hey y'all so i'm back and i'm in my second trimester ain't that crazy like time is going by so fast but basically, the last time I came and talked to you guys was back in July. It is the end of August, and my gender reveal is coming up. Yeah, like, my gender reveal is in two days. I just want to come on here and just tell you guys a little bit how the rest of my first trimester went and how it's been in my second trimester. I'm currently 15 weeks, y'all. What in the world? I'm 15 weeks and it's definitely been a roller coaster i've been going through it nausea has been getting worse um i've actually been throwing up now which is like this so backwards because you would think like my first trimester would be worse and the second trimester kind of like lighten up but no it's been the total opposite so if you plan to become pregnant or if you are pregnant really like you can hear other people's stories but like i promise you like your pregnancy is not gonna be like nobody else's everybody pregnancy is different but it's good to learn and be aware of everything that you can experience if that makes sense so the rest of my first trimester was cool nothing too bad happened i think at the beginning of my second trimester that's when i went to the hospital I went to the hospital like that's so dramatic but anyways i guess i was dehydrated i don't know what it was let me sit down y'all because i'm tired we was just at the outlet mall walking around 
So I've been kind of, I've been having like a low blood pressure recently. Like I just been at work and I will get so dizzy. I will start breaking out in a sweat. And it's like my head is just going like, like everything. Like I just hear the ringing and it sounds like I'm finna, you know, pass out. And it's crazy because I was watching a demonstration of a um, injection. So I was just in, in the room with patients and then some other MAs, my supervisor. And I had to walk out. I'm like, I'm not feeling good. I gotta, I gotta get out. I was like, I'll be back. And so I walked out, sat down on the seat in, in my chair, and I had put my head down. Uh, the late, my coworkers were asking me if I was okay and everything. I'm like, yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna pass out. They went to grab me some crackers, a, um, a wet rag to put on the back of my neck. It was just so dramatic. So I started to feel a little bit better. I was drinking my water and everything. And that's when they were like, let me check your blood pressure. So. One of the MAs took my blood pressure and my blood pressure was like an 80, 80 over like 60 something. And that's terrible. If you don't know nothing about blood pressures, you should be in the range of 120 over 80. Anything under that, mm -mm. not good. Uh, they walk me down. They like, you need to see your doctor. So they walk me down to the women's health and she like, you need to go to the hospital and get some fluids. It was just very dramatic. I went to the hospital. I got some fluids and I felt better. I ate and then went home. And then like ever since that day, nausea and vomiting. But I'm okay. I'm okay. I just got a prescription to help with the nausea, but I'm still like, I'm very nauseous right now. And it could be that I need to eat, that I do need to drink some more water. But it's just very exhausting. I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. The funniest thing ever, when I was getting my fluids, they showed me uh, our baby on the ultrasound. Why was that baby jumping around, bumping around, playing around? Like, it just had all the energy in the world. I'm over here just dying. <laughs> Let me stop being dramatic, but for real, that baby was like bumping around, like, just moving, kicking, and like it was just on a sugar rush or something. I'm like, that's where all my energy going. But yeah, I'm just thinking, okay, my second trimester should be a breeze. That's what everybody say. Uh, first trimester is typically like the hardest trimester. And that's what everybody say, y'all. That baby said, psych, you thought, because I've been going through it. That's all I wanted. I wanted to come on here and update you guys before I go ahead and post this video because I've been waiting for so long to post this. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and show y'all my stomach. It's going to be so crazy, like, looking back on this video and seeing how small I actually was. But this is my belly right now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can definitely see it. This is so weird. Yeah, yeah. I'm really nauseous and I got a lot of stuff to do tonight. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are excited. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and join the journey. Because it's definitely going to be one. We got a few baby stuff that family and friends have gave us already. Like, we got a whole thing of lotion and uh we got a little baby sling thing and a lot of baby clothes everybody's been supportive and just truly a blessing so i'm just excited to see how everything's gonna go like yeah i'm having a baby a little baby make sure you stay tuned for my gender reveal video because that will be coming out soon like i said it's in two days so yeah i'm gonna come and talk to you guys in my next video